is Irene with Yummy Life with Irene. Uh, guys, welcome back to my house. And uh, today, guys, is that uh, day, you know? Those beautiful, beautiful days that I get to make my kids' favorite food. And guys, today, my youngest daughter, my last one daughter, Tatiana, is home. So this is her welcome home dinner. And uh, the other one is doing the exams now. So guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my amazing and succulent <laughs> beef burgers. So guys, here are the ingredients. So we are going to need a kilo of minced meat. Uh, we are going to need two onions. One that is uh, cut into rinds, you know, or into circles and uh, into discs, rather. We're also going to do fresh lettuce, washed and dried. We have three cloves of garlic. We have some mayonnaise. We have the remainder of the onion. One more onion. We want to grate that. We need vegetable oil because my my minced meat is not very, very fatty. So I need to do a bit of oil. We're also going to need capers. And uh, capers is a... Uh, what do I say? Capers. I use capers to make uh, tartar sauce for the burgers and also tartar sauce for fish. Uh, we need black pepper, salt some uh, brown burgers that are buttered on both sides and uh, two eggs. We're also going to need some ketchup or some hot sauce. I have hot and sweet. Then this is an improvisation. <laughs> this is a tin from the milk tin for the kid, for my granddaughter. So once it got finished, I love the size for making burgers. This is going to be my mold. You can use whatever mold that you want because I find it giving it a better finish if I use a mold instead of just molding with my hands. Then you're going to need some, some pieces of cling film like this. Or even you can do wax paper. And uh, we're going to need some cheddar cheese and uh, this is store bought i don't know what has happened i've tried to make cheddar cheese i know i will go i'm going to crack that recipe one day but at the moment i buy my cheddar cheese but any other cheese that is my mozzarella my feta and also my my mozzarella feta and cream cheese i make my own and i'm going to show you upcoming video and also, we are going to need some skewers. So guys, let us do this. So we are going to keep this aside. And uh, I'm also going to keep my capers and the mayonnaise aside. Because I had made a lot of uh, tartar sauce. And uh, this tartar sauce is uh, mayonnaise. Uh, a bit of... Uh, half of our of a minced shallot or a or a purple onion and uh, like about a dozen of uh, capers and uh, minced or, or crushed together and uh, some salt and some sugar and um, what else a squeeze of half a lemon to make the tartar sauce so i was just introducing the ingredients though i've already made that so to this First, we're going to finish with the onion. We're going to salt our onion on both sides. Then, uh, we're going to grate some uh, black pepper on top. Burgers really have a lot of uh, ingredients. But also, I find burgers 
they also go with your preference like in my house nobody likes eating raw tomatoes and most burgers have raw tomatoes so the burger you make that is the choppings the party itself the burger party is general but the toppings that you make is your choice is what you want so i'm going to put the onions aside too so that is ready to go so with clean hands i want to grate a lem uh grate an onion with a with a small side grater both grater the small side So I'm grating one and a half because I had an onion that uh, had remained so I just rather use it here, half of it. And again, uh, the half will also flavor my meat or my minced meat. So we do the other half. So to our onion, we are going to add the two eggs. If you are doing half a kilo, you can do with one egg. Oh, shells. So we are going to mix this and break the egg yolks. Mess here. So let me rinse my hands. So we are going to do like a half a like a teaspoon of salt to our mix. also going to do a bit of black pepper like half a teaspoon of black pepper we're going to do like two tablespoons I'll just eyeball Two tablespoons of uh, of oil. Then you're also going to mash our three cloves of garlic with using a bit of salt. Like that. And uh, we're going to mash our three cloves of garlic. And if you don't want also to use fresh garlic, you can use garlic powder and it will, it will also add, you can put a bit of garlic powder, but when you're using the powder, it has to be half of the, half of the three cloves. So our garlic is mashed. Going to put our three cloves in our minced meat, and load this with boiling water. 
that's how I wash my mortar and pesto. So we are going to take our burger, our minced meat, and mix it thoroughly. And you don't want to over mix this, but you have to make sure that the garlic, the eggs, and all our, our spices have been incorporated in very, very well. So guys, I want us to mold our our burger parties and I'll show you how I do it so this is how we are going to mold our burger parties you take the sheets of the of the foil and guys our 1 kg of minced meat will give us 8 burger parties and in my household right now we are four so that we're going to have storage and uh, freeze the burger patties. So we are going to take our mold and place it on top of our, our foil and using your clean hands, You press into the mold our burger mixture and lift that and we have a burger. So we are going to put that in a plate ready to go freeze. So I'll continue doing this molding our burger patties. transfer them to the pan using the, the the foil paper this is ready to go to the freezer burgers for another day so we are going to start by browning our burgers on both sides We're just looking to crust them up so that when you're eating the burger, it has some bite to it. So our burgers are browning. So 
So we are going to do the rest. So our burgers are crusting. This needs to brown more. This is done. Yeah, that's ready. So I want us to use the same, same pan and we are getting like a tablespoon of oil and this will cook our onions as our meat is uh, almost being removed from the freezer. We're only giving it like five minutes in the freezer. And the reason we are freezing the meat is because we want it to hold shape and also not shrink as we are cooking it. We want our onions to crystallize on both sides. So our onions are ready. We're just going to remove this. Let this cook more. And yeah, this is ready. So we're just going to cook this. So this is ready. So we're going to put a tablespoon of oil. Remember our burgers had oil. So our burgers have rested. And this is how we, it's able to feed our burger to the pan using the foil paper. We can cook our burger, the four of them, at the same time. And because they are frozen, they won't stick together. I'm just separating them a bit. And you are going to give each side like four minutes. So we are going to turn our parties. It's been like four minutes. Look at that color. They are having very good color. And you see when you freeze them, 
they don't uh, shrink so we are going to turn our other one look at that so i'm going to give them another four minutes and uh you don't want to press your baggers down like this you know keep pressing because you're going to remove the juices inside the burger. So we give this like four minutes so that it can cook on the other side. So we are going to turn this. Guys, in my house, people don't like eating rare meat. At we cook our burgers medium rare or how you know, no. So we are going to turn it. I love the color and also the crunch it's going to have. So once we've done this, we are going to give it just two more minutes to cook and finish cooking and as that two minutes is cooking i'm going to load up my my cheese and uh, like that my granddaughter's nanny doesn't like cheese so has we are not going to put cheese So we are going to put cheese on the three of them. Like this. We just want to melt our cheese. And this is going to be very, very yummy. So guys, our burgers are ready and they are ready to remove from the heat. Our cheese has melted very well. So we are going to put them in the platter. Usually, don't throw away these bits. I love the crunchy bits. So to this, I'm going to put on my burger. Like that. So guys, I want us to do assembly. So guys, I want us to do assembly. So we are going to do assembly. And we have our buns here. So we are going to take our tartar sauce. It is thick and yummy. And we are going to put a tablespoon of tartar sauce. Or even more. Then you're going to take lettuce and try to, you know, mold it to the size of your, of your bun or then you're going to do a burger on top like that. Make sure it's centered so that your burger can be able to, you know, remain standing. Then you're going to put a load of onions. Like 
like that. Then my daughter loves hot and sweet. So we are going to put a good helping of like two tablespoons of hot and sweet sauce. Then I'm going also to load another one and a half table, uh, tablespoons of uh, the tartar sauce. Yeah, guys, here is our burger. So we are going to take our skewers and, you know, hold our burger to place. Then I'm going to serve my, my burger with uh, a helping of, uh, a helping of some chips wedges I had made earlier. So here are our chips wedges. Guys, remember we always eat with our eyes first. So we are going to let me put for her some sauce because I know she loves sauce. The tester of the dish for today is not moi. <laughs> it's going to be Tatiana. So baby, come along. So guys, here is uh, the tester for today. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Um, welcome back to my mom's YouTube channel. So <laughs> today I'm really happy because mom has made one of my favorite dish. I usually don't have a favorite dish because mom cooks all the dishes well. Oh. But this is one of my favorites. Um, come join me. Let's eat together. So let me cut for her the burger. So that you can see how it looks inside. You can feel the crunch, guys. That is because of our burger parties and also the, the bun. Here is our burger. See how it looks inside. So I want Tatiana to pick the plate and taste for you and tell you how it is. Hey, that's a big bite. <laughs> mm -hmm. How is it? Mm. Okay. So guys, uh, thank you for being with me today. Uh, this is one of the many meals that we make at home. And guys, it will shock you if you do your own, you know, burgers at home. Because if you say you go buy burger for everybody, believe me, it's going to be really damn expensive. And uh, saving, saving is my motto all the way. So guys, from my house to your house, much love. And guys, bon appetit. Bye, guys.